Hi Leo, welcome to your first ever uh, weekly tarot scope with me, Raphael Ray from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. As you can tell, I'm super excited about this. You guys asked me to do this, so many of you, for so long, and I'm now in a position to be able to do it, and I'm super, super chuffed about it. So, if you haven't already, don't forget to check out your Solar Eclipse special, uh, Solar Eclipse is Solar Eclipse in Leo special uh, for your specific sign. And there's also a prelude as well, which will give you kind of some background and flesh it out a bit. If you haven't also, don't forget to check out the Retrogradia, a mini series. It's a three part series that I've done about all the retrograde planets, what that means and what might be coming up for us. Also, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. I would love you forever for it. If you want to book a personal tarot reading, you can do so on the email address below. So your destiny card for the week is your, it's the overarching theme that's going to take, pre take precedence in your life. It's the thing that you probably most going to feel, the presence that you're most going to feel. And the major arcana is all to do with um, the big events in our lives, you know, the fated stuff, the destiny stuff, if you like. And this week you get the Hierophant card. So this talks about the, the institution. It talks about society, social, social situations. This week, Leo, you might be finding that you're very much aware of the institution of the place that you work for. So at work, this is about your bosses. It's about the hierarchy that happens in your work, in your, you know, in your professional life, in your studies or any of those things. You're going to be really aware this week of red tape. You're going to be really aware this week of things that might sort of seem to be encroaching on you. And remember, it's not always that they are encroaching us on us. Sometimes it's just we're starting to notice the, the rules and the regulations and the impact that they have on us and on our life, uh, on our life in general. Um, also, the other thing about the Hierophant card is it's actually a deeply spiritual card and it's very much connected to old architecture, old places. So if you have a call to go anywhere of, of you know, of ancient sort of uh, origin, then get in touch with that, follow that. It's gonna be really important for you to get out into nature this week as well, I kind of think red because you are leo fire uh, oh i've just dropped that <laughs> all of the majors <laughs> um so your direction card the direction is about the best way that you achieve your your destiny this week what's the best way for you to approach things um and you know what's the the journey that you might take to get there the five of pentacles right i'm going to be really honest with you with all of the intensity of everything that's going on the five of pentacles represents being out of pocket it represents uh, minor accidents that can put us out of action and being able to work so this week especially this week especially with the eclipse coming up i want you to be really really careful and really diligent if you see something and you think oh i'll clean that up in a minute do it straight away because the chances are with this much frenetic energy going on you know little minor accidents could take place if you're going anywhere of a nature environment again be very careful you know if you see something that looks slippery or you know looks a bit unstable it probably is so just keep an eye on that and the reason i say that is because this can represent being out of pocket due to not being able to work so you know if you slip and you twist your ankle if you you know any of those kind of experiences so just be really careful and really conscious this week the other thing that i want to say to you as well with the intensity of energy go that's going on, for some of you, you might be really tempted just to walk out of a job. I counsel against this, <laughs> even though I myself, just a month ago now, I did that. I literally just got up and walked out. Um, I counsel against that because, you know, obviously you might feel it in the wallet. If you're gonna do this, start looking for something to go to before uh, you quit a job you know just be very cautious and very careful about what it is that you do it's interesting in noting as well the hierophant is number five and this is the five of pentacles in numerology five is the number of change it's the number of intense change it's um it's also the number of intimacy sex drugs rock and roll all of that stuff is found in the number five in numerology and you've got a double hit of this energy this can see you really reaching out in a lot of ways to fill any kind of void 
or just to get rid of some of that intensity. My advice to you with the number five there, especially this week, do something deeply physical, do something out in nature, go for a run, go for a bike ride, um, you know, go to the gym and take a class that allows you to get some of that energy out. Do something physical that helps you get that energy out of you and you, uh, you will be heading in the right direction. I wish you an abundance of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance itself. Have an amazing week and I'll see you very soon for more videos.